Hello everyone, welcome to my l first Let's Play Dragon Quest Builders 2! So I just finished Dragon Quest Builders last night for the first time, and so this is my first time playing the second one. I've had this for a while in anticipation. I played the demo a little bit, so that's the most I know about it. Other than that, I really don't know what to expect. I hope that there will be a lot of interesting ads compared to the first game, and I am ready to dig in. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and start a new game. Oh, ooh, a bonus? You must create an account if you want to enjoy the game's online features. Oh, I guess. Do I have to do anything here? account has been registered. What does this do? You receive the historic headwear. Equip these items to change your character's headgear and hairstyle to that of the hero or heroine of the original Dragon Quest Builders. Oh, okay. However, you can only change your appearance in this way once you've progressed to a certain point in the game. Ah. Oh. Ooh, I get recipe too. To receive your bonus content, please continue an existing game or start a new one. Do not turn off the system while the game is loading. Cool. Alright, so I got bonus content. Alright, so then from here, let's go ahead and start the new game. Alright, so here we go. It's time to design your character! I'm Lighty. <laughs> Let's see what we can do. I like having my purple hair characters. Dark purple. Can I like change your hairstyles though? I guess not. And then... Kind of like... This one, because it's closer to me. The Asian tone. <laughs> Eyes. I also like to make that purple. Maybe a lighter purple. Yeah, I'll go with the lighter purple. Alright. Very simple. Here we go. And of course we're gonna name her G. Lee. <laughs> it's my girl. <laughs> J. I. Where's my dash? There we go. Ooh, there's even a heart there, so I'll probably add that. Oops. <coughs> I meant to switch it over here. There we go. G. Lee. And I'm going to add the heart since they gave it as an option. Woo! Alright. I'm G. Lee. Are you happy with this character? You can change your character's appearance, gender, and name once you reach a certain point in the game. Cool. I hope that means I can change hair too. That'd be fun. You can now adjust the game's setting. Once you're happy, select Confirm to save your changes and start the game. You will be able to change these settings later. Alright, let's see what we got here. I have no idea what this is. Alright, I don't see any reason why you need to have anything more than normal controls there. What is this chunky versus retro? <laughs> I guess we'll see. And I'll just go with the. Please note that they will be fixed at low, anyways, when you play through the main scenario. Um. Yes, I want plants. Ooh, animals. Alright, let's start it. Are you happy with these settings? Yes! <laughs> let's go!
venture forth, my children, and destroy all before you. Hmm? I'm gonna take it's not the goddess that's talking to you. Yeah. Thus, decree the great and glorious high priest Hargon from Dragon Quest II. And lo, his minions of mayhem did march out rank upon rank to ravage the land and strike fear into human hearts. Our unholy father then gave up his mortal form so that Malroth, the master of destruction, might be reborn and the world be consumed by catastrophe. Alas, mighty Malroth was defeated at the hands of the despicable spawn of Erdrich before Hargon's glorious vision could be brought to life. Ugh. Dragon Quest 2. <laughs> the moon has waxed and waned many times since that fateful day. Now peace reigns supreme and our order has been scattered to the four corners of the earth. Tell me, brothers and sisters, what does a monster do when backed into a corner? It bites, I say. We must do everything and anything within our power to bring this world to ruin. Huzzah! Huzzah! All hail Hargon! Praise be to Malroth! Oh, hellish father, hear our prayer! Deliver us from this world of oblivion! Lead us ever onwards as we build your dominion of darkness together! Dragon Quest Builders 2! Jili, you are the hero who will save this world. Oh, this time I'm a hero. Arise, my child. Your destiny awaits. Huh? Whoa. Heh 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 heh. The look on your face. I was only ribbing you, my child. You're no hero. I know that much. You're one of them builders, right? Uh, no? Kehehe, <laughs> you're telling fibulas now. I've got a good authority that you're a builder, so you can drop the act. Still, at least you're not a master builder. You might only be an apprentice, but that'll do. I actually got just the job for the last like you. Once you wipe the sleep from your sockets, come and meet me up at, on the deck. Wow, I start off as a prisoner? Get a move on! Use your left analog stick to move your controller and R and right analog stick to control the camera. Press the O to jump. Simple enough. Pretty much the same. Geely peeks inside the pot. Pooey! What a pong! This must be the toilet. It looks like it hasn't been emptied for a very long time. Ew. Geely cuts and bruises begin to heal. Oh, so you actually sleep for X amount of time as opposed to just sleep to the next morning. <laughs> Open! Builder! Builder! I have something to tell you! Did you know that you can run by holding R1 while you move around with the left stick? I'm sure the extra speed will come in handy, but take care near high ledges, or you'll meet your maker sooner rather than later! Whoa! She can dash! Mm -hmm. Go, girl, go! Builder! Builder! I have something to tell you! Press X when you want to examine something or strike up a conversation with someone. I suggest you remember this advice until the day you die. Oh, and one more thing. Could you ask that girl on the brick to pipe down? She won't stop screaming. How does she expect to rest in peace when she's being so noisy? <laughs> oh, hello. 
I couldn't help but overhear you hobnobbing with that dreadful dre dead knot. So you're an apprentice builder, are you? I was going to ask if you'd come up with a plan to get us off the ship, but you're far too much of a rank amateur to figure something like that out. Oh, why in the goddess' name did I ever become a builder? If I had been a farmer or a miner instead, I'd never been left to rot in the stinking cell. <laughs> we thought the children of Hargon would all but vanquish, that they were running scared. How did they ever turn the tables on us like this? Ah, oh, the builder. Tell me, girl. Do the children of Hargon frighten you? Do you wish to flee from this floating coffin? These waters are cursed. Strange voices carry across the waves, and many a vessel has vanished into vapor. The crew victims to an unknown fate. Vapor, sorry. Now, are you scared? Not as scared as I am, I assure you. I'll be off this death trap at the first opportunity. <laughs> He's like, I'm out of here. Ah. Uh, oh, same words. He's like, ah! Oh, I will be here freed first. I hate this place. <laughs> this is beautiful. This is where we stow our cargo. Real slime mar marinas like me call it the hold. Say, so you wouldn't be that apprentice builder I've been hearing about, would you? They say you can make all sorts of stuff from just a few bits and blobs. I don't know how you builders do it, as the magnificent Hargon said. Destruction awaiteth all that is built. Think of all that hard work going to waste. I can't do anything yet. Alright. Where else do we go? Up. Builder! Builder! I have something to tell you! If you ever get stuck or can't figure out what to do next, be sure to check back with whoever you spoke to last. It shows you're willing to do the job right. There's nothing wrong with that. Now that's a tip that'll serve you well in this life and the next! So I just got slashed and I'm still here. <laughs> You're that apprentice builder that we nabbed in Cantlin, aren't you? I must admit, I feel a few pangs of, of sympathy for you. It's not very nice to know that your end is near. Quee! Well, well, if it isn't the little Miss Builder. You're only an apprentice, but you're prancing around like you own the place. Honestly, you can't go anywhere this day without bumping into an insolent little builder hell bent on undoing all our hard work. The world is going down the pan, that's for sure. Our only choice is to eliminate bothersome builders like you one by one. Hehehe. <laughs> Urgh. This she ship keeps swaying from, sea si from side to side. I feel a bit seasick. What's that? You want to know where we're s sailing to? I haven't the foggiest. The higher elves would never tell stuff like that to a lowly little drachny. Hello, Goo Man. We're the last surviving members of the children of Horgoon. The ones who didn't get squeezed. We're going to bring this world to its knees, all in the name of the Goodit and Goodorius High Priest. What is with all the slurping? I'm just salivating at the prospect of squashing you goomans once and for all. Slurp, slurp, slurp. <laughs> Nidenhall, Canuck, Moonbrook. From forth these three kingdoms did come to the hated heroes, the scions of Erdrick, who laid almighty Hargan low. With his dying breath, our exalted leader surrendered his mortal form so that Malroth, the lord of destruction, could be born. Alas, he too was vanquished. But does that mean all hope is lost? No, I say. Hargon's ambitions did not perish with him. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but one day we will reduce this world to ruin. Hell's bells, what a storm we had last night. I washed all the torches overboard and scattered my barrels around the deck. 
I beg your pardon? You say you slept right through it. Good gracious, you must sleep like a particularly lazy log to have missed a humdinger of a hurricane like that. I can run! Have you heard? Heard what? No. I better give you a quick history lesson then. In an age long since past, this world was ruled by the iron fist of a king among kings, the mighty Dragon Lord. I was one of his loyal foot soldiers, but the master I so valiantly served was vanquished at the hands of some hotshot hero. So, when High Priest Hargon rose to power, I wasted no time in signing up to join his dishonorable ranks. Alas, even he was destined for defeat, just my luck. Now the other girls has looked down on me for switching sides. I'm even starting to think the downfall of these great leaders could be something to do with <gasps> me. Go. Bored, bored, bored. I'm bored beyond relief. I'm going out of my skull with boredom. I tell you, it's nothing but ocean everywhere. I turn water over this way, water over that way. Just give me something to look at that's not the blooming horizon. Oh, almighty Hargon. How did those hated humans ever manage to defeat you? Did the whole world not cower before you after you obliterated Moonbrook? <sighs> if only I'd risen from my grave in High Priest Hargon's heyday, I would have led an undeath of luxury instead of being stuck here in the skeleton crew. Quite literally, a skeleton crew. Have you heard? Oh, I already said this. Yes. Been boning up, have you? Jog on then, smarty pants. Alright, so I think I talked to everyone else besides the quest guy. Let's go! Oops. Wow. Okay, let me not do that. Oh. Hi! Well, yeah. They had to advance it up on the, on the two, right? <laughs> Stairs are no match for you, I see. You just can't keep a good girl down. Okay. <laughs> Now, as you'll no doubt have spotted, we're sailing on the o open ocean. You've got no chance of escaping, so don't even bother trying. Not that you get very far, anyway. You're nothing but skin and bones. I don't know how I feel about a skeleton telling me that. Here, get this down your gullet. It's fresh from the captain's table, which is where I sit, by the way. Kehehe. Mmm, <laughs> kelp. Chili can't remember when she last ate. The thought of food makes her stomach start rumbling. I can eat it. Edible essentials. Believe it or not, that kelp can be eaten since selected with your left and right buttons and press square to eat it. Doing so will replenish your fullness gauge and replenish some health. Oh, so it actually helps with health too? Mm -hmm. Do they still say the same thing? Builder, builder! No, I've already talked to you. Down in one. That kelp's pretty tasty, isn't it? The pungent aroma and slimy texture make for a spine-tingling combination. You should thank your lucky stars you got to scoff such a scrumptious snacks. Because it'll be the last meal you ever eat. Yep, you heard me right. You'll be dead soon enough. But don't worry, you won't be shuffling off this mortal coil just yet. I've got plenty of hard grap for you to be getting on with first. <laughs> you can wipe that l lily liver look off your face. I'm not going to send you to the cemetery anytime soon. So long as you got some life left in you, I'll give you a chance to keep hold of it. But you'll have to follow my orders to the letter. What's that? You want to know who we are and what are you doing here? If you're that desperate to find out how far up the creek you are without a paddle, I might add, go and talk to those five mosses beneath the flag over there. Well, I gotta talk to them again. I'm guessing this guy's gonna say the same thing, so I'm just ignore him. You're that apprentice builder that we nabbed in Catlin, aren't you? I must admit I feel a few pinks of sympathy for you. It's not very nice to know that you're ended nigh. Quee hee hee! Well, well, if it isn't little Miss Bill, you're only an apprentice, but you're prancing around like you own the place. Honestly, you can't go anywhere this day without bumping into an insolent little builder out bent on doing all of our hard work. The world going down the pan, that's for sure. Our only toy to eliminate bothers them builder like one, like you, one by one. Creaky. <laughs> Urgh, this ship keeps swaying from side to side. I feel a bit seasick. What's that? You wanna know where we're sailing to? I haven't the foggiest. The higher ups would never tell stuff like that to a lowly little jackie. 
Hello, Gumen! We're the last surviving members of the children of Hargoon, the ones who didn't get squished! We're going to bring this world to its knees all in the name of the great and glorious High Priest Slurp. What's with all the slurping? I'm just salivating and the prosperity squashing you, Gumen's once and for all. Slurp, slurp, slurp. Midenha, Knuck, Boonbrook, from forth these three kingdoms they come the hated heroes, the scions of Urzric, and laid almighty Hargan low. With his dying breath, our exalted leader surrendered his moral form so that Malroth, the lord of destruction, could be born. Alas, he too was vanquished. But does that mean all hope is lost? No, I say, Hargon's ambitions did not perish with him. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but one day, we will reduce the world to ruin. So they all said the same thing they said earlier. <laughs> it's kind of disappointing. <laughs> so you talk to the rest of the crew, eh? Oh, being a little blighter, aren't you? So, now you know, we're the last survivors of the children of Hargon. Loyal servants of the mighty master of destruction himself. That means you builders are our sworn enemies. We're sailing the ocean blue, rounding up pesky vermin like you, along with anyone else who gets in our way. Eh? You wanna know what we're gonna do with all these builders? Only the higher ups know for sure, but I'll make no bones about it. I reckon you lot are up for the chop. So that doesn't mean we can't make the most of what little time you've got left. Just be thankful you can be of some benefit as your final moment draws ever closer. Listen up, Builder. Unless you want to spend the rest of your life behind bars, or worse, you'll do as I say. So, here's the deal. Last night's storm messed up my ship good and proper. I want you to make these things ship-shape around here again. To start with, I want you to break up all the driftwood strewn about the deck and bring me the wood when you're done. Go on, chop-chop. Fist of steel! So I'm gonna punch it. Each piece of driftwood is marked with a icon and run up to one and press the triangle to punch it into something useful. Punch! <laughs> yeah. yeah! Punch! <laughs> no? I can't just beat up the, the guys that connect me. I'm just gonna take this. Well, well, my deck looks in much better shape now. You've picked up all that wood. No flies on you, eh? Still, I suppose give, being given the chance to save your sorry skin will tend to give you a kick up the coccyx. Coccyx? How do you say that word? Coccyx? You want to know why I'm giving you this chance? Truth is, as a sworn servant of the Master of Destruction, I'm not supposed to fraternize with your kind. But considering the state of my ship, I've got no other choice. Anyway, it's not like you're a proper builder. You're only an apprentice at the end of the day, so I'm sure it's fine. He wouldn't forsaken me for a little thing like this, right? Who is he talking about? Like, their leader's already dead. Anyway, I think we've chewed the fat long enough. If you want to cling on to your life for a little longer, I suggest you continue working like the dutiful little builder you are. Just remember, you can get all sorts of useful materials by smashing things up. Just be careful that what you bash doesn't bash you back. Alright, what's next? You're an odd one. Since the moment I let you out of that cell, you've been scurrying about my deck chatting with my crew without a care in the world. If anything, I'd wager you're actually enjoying this. Excuse me. There must be something wrong with you. I can't explain any other way. Hello. I mean, why else would you wear that dopey grin on your dopey mush? Faced with the same fate, most prisons would, m would be scared witless, but not you. You what? You always look like that when someone's got a job for you. Hard worker. Hmm. It seems like you aren't scared of us at all. I better keep you busy or who knows what might you might try and pull. Luckily, there's plenty for you to be getting on with. For starters, some of the boys on deck have got jobs that need doing. Report back to me when you sort them out. To the quest. I'm guessing fill that hole. I've been watching you, Builder. I saw you scrabble around the deck, greedily pocketing all the wood you can find. The raging tempest that struck last night washed all of our navigation lights on overboard. But such things can be rebuilt, can they not? To wit, I wish for you to use the wood you collected to make some new torches. Do you see the worn out w workbench over there? Oh, that one looks super simplified. Use it to make five torches. Here, I believe you will need this oil to craft them. Three splats of oil. Once you have the torches, you must put them back in their proper positions. The five black blocks will be your sign. There's one by the workbench and four more around the, to the stairs that lead below decks. Place one torch upon each block. 
Do not fail me, Builder. Craft the five torches and put them in place. Return to me when you have finished the task. You can make torches on the workout bench and you can build it. Build. Oh. Sorry, it's one of them makes five. I was like, wait. Yeah, I don't need more than five, right? Mm -hmm. Snap you put down, just uh, use the square to put it down. Same as before. Whee! And then, was the last one below deck? No, it was right there. Light up the deck. Hm. It seems you have done exactly as I asked. The guiding flames burned brightly at before. For ships such as ours, they could do with being a touch more sinister. If I do say so myself, but I shan't complain. The deck is illuminated once more. I must say, your propensity to create unsettles me. Not that it matters. You will soon outlive your usefulness. But your work is not over yet. There are others aboard this ship who might still find some use for you. Go to them, I pray. Why does the bad guy say pray? <laughs> the monsters. So who else? Maybe on the other side. Whee! Oh, I got a sprint gauge. <laughs> well, if it isn't the so-called builder, and when think you know the place the way you're strutting around this deck, what's with the attitude? You're running errands for the boys on the captain's orders, and you want me to give you a job to do? Tell you what, you can help me relieve the boredom of being stuck on this good for nothing ship as long as you're not afraid to put your life on the line. Truth is, I've always wondered whether builders can fight. How do you feel about going mano a mano with a monster? Oi, you! Fancy taking a swing at this kid? Just try not to kill her, oi, eh? Kehehe. Alright, better put them dukes up. I warn you though, that skeleton sco soldier's a proper head case. Come and fight me after the fight's finished. We can still walk. Uh, don't come crying to me. I can't help you. You're gonna fight that skeleton whether you like it or not. Give me a shout when the dust settles. Just don't expect me to patch you up and give you a cuddle if you lose. Got it? But I don't have a sword. Oh. That doesn't even tickle. Oof. That really cuts a bone. Really? It looked like you had plenty of health. Well, you're a better boxer than you look, I'll give you that. Still, the only thing those pathetic punches of yours hurt was my pride. Not that I should be surprised. You're pretty bony for someone who claims to be a builder. That doesn't exactly bode well for your future career, does it? Lucky, you don't have to a future to speak of at all. <laughs> Alright, be off with you and go and tell the bosun what a weakling you are. You fight worse than a wet washcloth. <laughs> you fight like a cow's cadaver. Cat... What is a cow's cadaver? <laughs> you builders really aren't cut out for combat after all. What's that? You would have smashed him to smithereens if you had a weapon? Kehehe, <laughs> a likely story. You're gonna bash him upside the skull with one of them torches? You're such a wizard whipping out. Don't make me laugh. <laughs> she got a book. <laughs> What's that book you got there? Recipes? Da na na na. <laughs> Eureka! New recipe! Cypress stick. Don't just stand there smirking time, what's so funny? You what? You just worked out how to make a cypress stick? Well, I never- are you telling me that builders can invent things as well as make them? Well, don't just stand around looking gormless. Put your money where your mouth is and make this cypress stick then. You know where the workstation is, right? And one more thing, once you made it, don't forget to equip it. Weapons no use otherwise. Show me the cypress stick then! Seriously though, your punch is so soft I doubt you could fight your way out of a wet paper bag. Thought you could take me down with those flim flimsy little fists, did you? Too much bravado, that's what your problem is. Yeah. Stick it up for yourself, I got a stick. Um, let's see. Alright, cool. Here you go. The girl genius returned. Cypress stick in hand. Now you really look the part. 
What do you say? Fancy another crack at that old bag of bones? Now you got a weapon? Sure. Okay, that's the spirit. I want to watch that Rory try and put himself back together once you're through with him. Okay, boom. Bye. Oh. Erg, a bone crushing defeat. I don't know if I can pick myself up after this one. Go on then, last. Go and brag about being me to the boson. Well, you certainly gave that bag of bones a good hiding. Just look at the state of him. The only thing he's good for now is feeding a dog. Ouch. You what? You feel a bit sorry for him. Kehehe, <laughs> that's a new one. I'll wa wager no human ever shed a tear for a monster before. Just don't think you can butter me up by tickling my funny bone. Anyway, thanks for that, Builder. It certainly helped pass the time, if nothing else. I even think I learned something today. You builders are useless in a fist fight, but with a weapon in hand, you're not to be sneezed at. But you're not done for the day just yet. Not by a long shot. I got a feeling in my bones there's someone else on board who needs a helping hand. The tree didn't just make me more dangerous, and now I could just, like, come after you guys? <laughs> my, my. You have been a busy little lady, haven't you? First you made those torches, and now a cypress stick. But one can hardly call oneself a builder without one's tools of the trade. Where are yours, builder? Do you ha even have any? Uh, no. Alas, not. Other than that simple cypress stick, you haven't had a simple, a single tool upon your person. Such a shame. Well, I think we have ought to do something about that, hadn't we? I confiscated this pair of gloves from the builder in, this, in the brig below decks. Now they are yours. With these equipped, you'll be capable of hoisting up a whole host of objects without the need to smash them first, ideal for organizing your articles in an orderly fashion. So, without further ado, take your newfound gloves, gather up all the barrels strewn higgly piggledy about the deck, and place them on the mat beside me. I got gloves! Pick stuff up and plunk it down. <laughs> Interesting. Let's use our tools. And then... Don't get down on here. Hello! I'm cleaning up the deck. I can kind of run while doing that. Yeah. Oops. Oh. There we go. And two more. There we go. And oops. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. Sorry. Pick it up. And there we go. <laughs> It's all clean. Wonderful work. Six perfectly positioned barrels. I'm sure you'll agree that a pair of gloves is an indispensable tool for any budding builder. I was under the impression that the youth of today were nothing but a swarm of work-shy wastrels. But based on your showing just now, I may have to reassess my, uh, my stance. Alas, no matter the blood, sweat, and tears you shed in servitude, you'll always be a builder, the eternal enemy of our exalted order. I fear your time among us will be but short, but your fate is not for me to decide. That is the captain's responsibility. Alright, what next? It would appear you have attended to everyone's errands for now. Hurry along and inform the good captain that you're required to, yet you require some more back-breaking chores. Like, I guess, fixing that hole? I can't pick that up, though. No! <laughs> Pick up the monster and throw him over. <laughs> not bad, not bad. Looks like you've done everything the lads asked of you. Nice to see a human working her fingers to the bone for us monsters. And without a word of complaint, neither. If I doubted it before, I'm certain now. You actually like this sort of thing. You're a proper weirdo, you know that? Excuse me, I'm just a hard worker. I ain't no weirdo, you're a weirdo. <laughs> Still, I won't be satisfied until I hear it from the horse's mouth. So to speak, do you enjoy building things? Yes? <laughs> of course you do. It's what gets you out of bed in the mornings. I can tell from the look on your fleshy face. 
You've got all the makings of a master crafter. And that's why we can't let you live. Okay. What are you going to do about it? Well, well, with you builders being our mortal enemies and everything, I can't exactly have you running about a stern building like Billy Oak now, can I? I'm sorry to say it, kid, but I'm going to have to sever that smiling skull from your shoulders right now. <laughs> just tickling your ribs. Don't look so scared. I'm not really going to lop your noggin off. Well, as long as you stay on my good side, that is. After all, I wouldn't want to lose a willing worker like you. I reckon you've got what it takes to be a cracking little cabin girl. And what's more, I like the cut of your jib. What do you say, lassie? Will you join my skeleton crew? You don't want to say anything. I can tell you're too overcome with joy to thank me now. Actually, there's something else I've been meaning to ask you. What's that big book you're lugging around? I've never seen anything like it before. Huh? Where did this ring come from? Ah! You'll have to tell me later, lassie. Looks like there's another storm rolling in. Ah, uh, an apprentice builder. You will do nicely. Who said that? I can't move. This is your world to create and yours to destroy. Are you saying I'm a god? <laughs> Who's saying this? Now come to me, my child. Who is saying this? Oi! Cloth ears, what are you gawking at? Didn't you hear me? I told you to get your fleshy rump below decks and into the hold. It's far too dangerous up here for a landlubber like you. I hope you're not back here thinking you'll get a response from me. You need to get your lumpy rump to the hole and take shelter before you end up like me. We can't just fix the poor guy? I want to talk to everyone. <laughs> Whoa! Are you trying to give me a heart attack? What if I lost my footing and fell into the drink, eh? Would you dive in and pick my bones up off the ocean floor? Yeah, didn't think so. So this would be an easy way to get rid of him, right? <laughs> Nothing like a little wind and rain to break the tedium of a long voyage at sea. Bring on the storm, I say. Kehehe. <laughs> that said, the water is starting to look a little tad too choppy for my liking. Maybe calm seas and a bit of monotony are the way for it, after all. Ooh. How very unusual. After last night's tempest, I thought we had sailed well clear of stormy waters. I'd watch my footing if I were you, Builder lest you get hurled into the raging waves. Now do as the good captain says and hurry to the hold as fast as those little legs will carry you. One minute we're happily blobbing along the waves, the next we're slap bang in the middle of a grandest storm. Little, little. Why am I wibbling so much? That's what signs do when we're, so, when we're scared. Well, we do it when we're not scared as well, but it's more of a wobble than a wibble. Wibble, wobble, wibble, wibble, wibble. Erg, this storm is making me feel seasick. Quick, someone bring me a bucket before this deck gets a fresh splash of varnish. Blech, too late. Aw. Ugh. Say the same thing. Poor guy. One atrocious storm is bad enough, but two in quick succession is an ill omen indeed. This vessel may be smashed to splinters before the day is out. Good, I say, for are we not the children of Hargon, dedicated disciples of the masses of destruction himself? But bad, I also say, for were we to sink, what would become of our illustrious order? Would destruction itself be destroyed? What a perplexing paradox. I I'm not scared of a little, little thorn like this. Honestly, I'm not. I'm threatened. This slip is built out dirty as they come. There's no way he'll think. Is that right, Builder? Please tell me that we'll survive the storm. Cree, cree, cree. Not another storm. I'm not sure I can weather this one. Please, Hargon, don't let me die. I'll do anything you ask of me. I swear. Well, you're asking a dead guy. What's up here? Oof. 
Oh, there's actually someone up here. Scree! Have you seen the the sky human? The clouds are rising by and there's an enormous ominous electricity in the air. This is no ordinary storm, let me tell you. Speaking of which, what are you doing all the way up here? Are you insane? Telling me, of course you are. I thought we'd be really lucky to divide this one. Quee quee. And down. Alright. I guess we've talked to everyone. On my honor as the captain of this ship, I'll never see my crewmates sent to the bottom of the briny, even if it costs me my life. And it's my new cat girl that includes you, Builder. I won't let you die, not here, not this night. Now get your bony behind below decks, past the brig, and take shelter in the hold. Captain's orders. Builder, Builder, I have a question to ask you. What would happen if a specter like me were to sink to the bottom of the sea? Would I <gasps> drown? Ooh, what an awful storm! I've never seen the ship shake and shudder so. If you're looking to hide in the hold, it's just at the end of this corridor. Hurry, Builder, or this chap might be your last! Builder, Builder! Though the storm may, storm may set your spine a tingle, you need not fear. Our captain is the finest sailor the children of Hargon has ever had. The ship will be safe with him at the helm. Follow his orders and you'll live to see another day, but if you rock the boat, well, let's just say I hope you can swim! What in the world is happening out there? Oh, we're doomed. Doomed, I say. What a way to go. Just when I thought things couldn't get any worse, the mother of all storms strikes. My luck runs dry just as I'm about to get soaked. Great. You, Builder, now's not the time to be rubbing your freedom in our faces. Put a stop to all this shaking or I shall be very cross. Wow. And you call this freedom? <laughs> The sea is wroth once more, it would seem. My grandfather always told me that there is not more capricious than the open ocean, the weather in high mountains, or a gigantic mood. Which is why I'll be riding the storm out down here. There's no shame in letting who fear get the better of you on occasion. Now leave me be. I'm guessing the slime. Uh oh. The slime's gonna drown. C -c -c Captain Slurp, come to the hole quickly. We're in deep goo goo down here. Blimey, I don't like the sound of this. Hold tight, I'm on my way. You all right there, Builder? Ash, but I can't be stopping to help some human. I've got to get to the hold. Good night. <laughs> Hargon, preserve us. This is bad. This is really bad. Hey, Builder, get your bony backside in here. Pronto, I need your help. Mm. Over here, Builder. What took you so long, eh? I've got bad news, Builder. We've been swept right into a reef, and the rock's gone clean through the hole. If we don't fix this fast, we'll be hitting down Davy Jones' locker. I don't know if this will work, but try cramming a crate into that hole. So you got a pair of gloves, don't you? You so use them. Hurry, Builder, use those crates. P -p Builder, you gotta do something. I'm going to get squashed into the ocean. Now I'm on a swim, Quiver. Please, Builder, plug up the holes before it's too late. There's no time to lose. Stuff a crate in every gap you see and save my ship. I'm guessing another one's about to pop in. Boom! That was a closer shade than I have liked. But you did it. You saved my... Oh, throw me a boat. Not more holes. Boom! Ah, uh, we're taking on more water. You've got to do something. Use some... Some more crates and plug all those holes up. Yep. Woo! 
Alright. The builder! Oh, same thing. You're a lifesaver, builder! No, I owe you one! But our run-in with that rock has made mincemeat of my hull. The next wave that hits us could... Boom! Oh, I knew it! It's a race against time, builder! Cram some more crates in those holes! Hurry! You've shored up my ship good and proper, Builder. I don't know what we, where we'd be without you. She'll hold for now, but who knows how much I... And... Oh, throw me a bone. We're done for. Holy moly, look at that one. We don't have enough crates big enough to plug up a hole that size. This is it, Builder. It was nice knowing you. Don't forget me. Builder!